You know one of the scariest phrases, and I've heard it many times, and it's from the younger people. They'll say this. I'll wait till I'm older. You all heard it. That is one of the scariest phrases to say. And here's why. Because that shows me that you know this is true. And you're hoping that when you're older, maybe when you're too old to enjoy sin, <laughs> does that day ever come, you know? Seriously, you, you, you know, some of you thought this when you were a kid, right? When I'm older, when I'm older, when I'm older. But that reveals to me that you know what truth is. And you know this is the right way. That's why you want to go there when you're older. And you're hoping you don't die before you get a chance to repent. But, but you're also showing me that you want to enjoy evil right now. And you're going to stand before God one day and he's going to say, you knew what was right, but you didn't want to go there because evil was more attractive to you than I was. Understand, this is not about those who've never heard. They're better off than these people. This is for those of you who know you've heard. You saw the real thing and you chose to go the other direction. And those are the ones that the Bible says, that's scary. And I finally came to a really good understanding of this last verse. This is the part, the, the, here, understand, what I'm, I'm not saying that you lost your salvation. I'm saying you never had it. And that's what this last verse is saying. This last verse, see what the true proverb says has happened to them. The dog returns to its vomit. The pig, after washing herself, returns to the mud. What, what, what's the point here? The point is the dog he throws up and those who have dogs, it's just disgusting. They go back to it. And look at, why? Because that's instinctive to them. They're dogs. A pig, you can give it a shower, you can wipe it off, but what's he going to do eventually? Run back in the mud. What does that tell you? It tells you the dog never changed its nature. The pig never changed its nature. It was a pig. And so sure, yeah, maybe it got baptized, but it didn't really get baptized. It just, it just went in the water and got cleaned off. You took a bath. You didn't get baptized. Your nature never changed. But when God comes into you, you're given a different nature. You're no longer that, that instinctive creature. You, you see, while well, I'm tempted by all that stuff, I could never go back to it. Sometimes, man, something tempts me and I'll, and I'll start moving that direction. But the moment I start going that direction, I get sick to my stomach because I'm not a dog anymore. Then it's like, oh, I can't. Why? Because I'm so in love with Jesus. Like, like the thought of turning my back on him. I, 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 I feel like garbage whenever I turn my back on God. See, this is the hope in this whole passage. It's not about you trying harder, trying harder, trying harder. Okay? Because you can't do it in the flesh. You can't change who you are, but God can. The Bible says he'll put a whole new spirit in you. And where you used to be a slave to all these passions, like you had to just keep running back into the mud, he goes, now he gives you a new slave where you go, man, I got to keep doing what's right or it drives me nuts. See, that's what this passage is saying. It's not saying that someone was truly changed. It shows that now they're still the same person. They got washed off at some point, but God never really changed their heart. Jesus died on the cross because of your sins and paid for it. You got to believe that. Then you got to believe that he can change who you are and put a new spirit in you so you're no longer enslaved to those things, but you can be truly free. And it's awesome to have power over your sin. Not the world won't still entice but you can't go there, can you? Those who've been given the new nature, you can't go there, can you? It's like it drives you crazy. And some of you this morning, you are just, you're a mess right now because you've been heading down this path and you remember what it was like. And I'm saying, go back. And others of you, maybe this is all you've known. You can't even imagine living that way. Have faith in God. Believe that he died on that cross to forgive you of everything you've done. And believe that he has the power to pull you away from everything you're doing right now. And give you a new nature. As you look at your own life, 
Are you confident that you've been given this new nature? But maybe some of you just go, I don't know him. I don't know him. I don't know this relationship you're talking about. I just try to do the right things. And it's probably because you've never really surrendered your life and had faith and asked his spirit to come into you and change you from the inside out. This morning, the last thing I want to do is rinse off a pig. What we're interested in is changing the nature and making you a son or daughter of God. And I don't mean that in a degrading way because we're all there. And we don't want to be creatures of instinct. We want to be given this new nature, be men and women of God. Maybe you just lost your way and you just need to come back.